Hello guys, it's me Michael from ATPH Productions. Um, we're gonna be playing the Stanley Parable. This is pretty, pretty cool right here. I am not too sure if you guys can see that. Right there, the red dot for fraps. But anyway, let's begin. Is never the end, is never the oh, that's good. Is never the end, 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 it's never the end, it's never the end, it's never the end. It's never the end. That's not the end of this rope. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. All that matters is And then happy. one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Wow. Something was very clearly wrong. Yeah. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the for longest time. time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, first of all, sensitivity is low as dicks. Okay. There you go. Okay, that does that. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? I don't like that. He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. Forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the man. one thing he knew for sure, beyond any out. doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Okay. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. So good so far. Hello? Hello? 429? 428? 430? Co were gone. Dark. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Jim. No matter how Mary. hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. Hello? God damn it. Oh, I can open stuff. Eh. Hello? Far too nice sex. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Hello? Housekeeping. Housekeeping. Hello? What's this? Input received. Okay. Oops. Open. I hate Mondays. Hello? Anyone? Anyone at all? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. 
Right. This okay. was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I do. It's nice to admire things. Because if you don't admire things, what good are you? Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, Thirsty. beautifully constructed room. Stanley soda. simply stood here, drinking it all in. I would like this drink. I would like to drink this in. But it's not working. Who leaves a mug on the floor? Come on, guys. This is how yes. we get ants. Really, really worth it being here in the room. Yes. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Mm, it's so good. Um, what else would be even better than that? At this point, this. Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy <laughs> and reflected poorly on his overall <laughs> personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Hey, that's mean. What did I ever do to you? All I want is a drink. What's in here? Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. What's that? Hello. Fire. I wonder if I just stay here for a bit longer. Shh, you can't see me. Let's not move. Okay, I can't do that. I can't stand still. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Keep trying. Okay. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. <laughs> Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> Where am I? I'd like to go back. Do not lie. If you're lying right now, stop. <laughs> What what if that sign's lying? I don't have a key card. Da -da -da -da. Warning, do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, a thousand dollars. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, five thousand. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not... But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and <laughs> plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> oh, God. Da -da -da -da. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. I want to open stuff. What's that noise? I hear like a creaky noise somewhere. When Stanley came to a set of two open... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Yes, I do. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I love this wow. Room. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. That's so what a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Thank good, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago.
Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. What? Really? Oh. I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Maybe. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Probably. Why, I don't know how to convince <laughs> you of this, but I really do want to help you. To Danger show you everywhere. something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. 2B1. I'll click you. So what are the achievements on here? Let's check. 430. That was back there. Uh, oh well. 2B3. I don't like how these rooms are boarded up. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Sidestep. I sidestep. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. A red door, I don't see a red door. I see the distant All door. Alright, fine, go ahead Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, yes. don't let me stop you. Yes. I'm scared. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Yeah. Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not oh. think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. <laughs> Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Yes. Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. I like this Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Oh, I don't want to take it. I don't want to take it. Oh. Okay, Ooh. I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Um, is one the best or five the best? Or is one the worst and five the best or worst? I'm going to go with one. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, oh. you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? <laughs> That's not even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly going. candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. How am I? Ooh, what's this? <laughs> oh my god. Is this even a thing? Is this really a thing? Oh my goodness, if this is a thing. Did you know that 21.3% of players skipped the intro sequence? Only the worst of your players chose the blue door. Stanley429. Uh. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Oh, 98.9% .9 are more attracted than Stanley. A dead rat. <laughs> oh. oh, so I've been playing for seven minutes. Okay. I think. No, that was hours. Jeez. I've not been playing for seven hours. No. Would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. 
I'll give you two. I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some play testing. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. In this game, oh, no. the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. Really? It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be I, sure to keep notes on your experience. I don't want to press the button. I want to see the baby burn. Yes, burn. Yes. You heartless bastard. <laughs> Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because Maybe if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Hello? Your input was extremely valuable. Hello? Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <coughs> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Okay. We'll play. We'll play your game. <laughs> Is this any better? At last, one thing you've always desired. A game I oh had absolutely nothing to do with. Oh my god. Is it enough? Oh my god. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. Oh I'm done god. making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. Crazy. <laughs> this will go here. No, here. And then... Oh, my God. This is the best. Let's see. Oh, my God. Does it need I uh, Yes, of course. And just to finish it all off... Yes. <laughs> It's complete. I made this standing. Look at it. Gaze upon my work <laughs> of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Well. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. I don't want to. I must stay over here. You're scaring me. I admire how well this looks. Looks pretty damn well. It runs smoother than Minecraft, that's for sure. I want to explore. Wait, what's that? Fog. I don't want to go in. I'm scared. I'm just more. Okay. He does stuff when I don't do what he tells me to do. He waits for me to break down. At the same time, I'm not too sure if I should. Let's give it 10 more seconds. It's really good. Fine. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait. That's it. Right. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. No. Oh. That acquisition is going. Do, 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 oh, do. my. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? Do I have one? I don't have any light. Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. <laughs> I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something Must. that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. Oh, God. This won't do at all. One out of five. I hear a spider. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. I hear skeletons. No! <laughs> Minecraft. Go back. I miss you. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 yes, I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. 
you, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. <laughs> it's aperture right on, man. Yeah, but sure. Oh, it doesn't work though. That disappointing. Oh, glass is open. Hmm. Oh, it's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. You're forty. Yes. I think that's plenty. I really don't <laughs> care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. Um. Where am I? Is it so key? Work in progress. Oh, poop. Oh, where am I going? Oh no. Oh, this is creepy. I can't see anything. It's dark. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, this is really creepy. I don't like this. Can't see anything. There's a maze. I don't like mazes. Mazes suck. I'm gonna go this way. I just did a loop de loop. Oh, goodness me. Oh, goodness me. You should probably just go this way. Okay. Oh, room. Brightly lit. Um. Okay, it's less creepy over here. Nope, nope, it's creepy. It's <laughs> going back to creepy. Ah, let's press buttons. Press the buttons. Um, what do I do? I don't know what to do. Oh God. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. With it. He'll understand soon what I, was, what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. <laughs> I can wait. The end is never, the end is never, the end is never. That's never. Oh. So that was, I guess that was one of the endings. It's nice. All of his co workers were. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you yeah. think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. I'm doing it. Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. I'm gonna do it. I clicked this door so hard. Yeah. 
Yes. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. <laughs> I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? But where is 417? 417? There you are. Two, three. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. But didn't you close the door? What? How am I supposed to get back? 437? How am I supposed to get back to 437? <laughs> 437? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. 437, I want you. <coughs> 413. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Well, I'm just gonna stay in here for a while. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. What time is it? How long have I been playing? Okay. I'll stay in here for a bit. There was nothing here. No choice to make. No path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. I'm just gonna stay here. When you tell me not to, I will stay. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> Are you are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Because I have to. Please freedom. offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. We got some freedom up here. We do what we want. That's what we get to do. Express you do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find <laughs> out. But it didn't even occur to me, because literally, this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Maybe to you, this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe, when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Ow! Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? <laughs> the broom closet ending was, was my, my favorite. favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really oh. stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. Hey. That or with drug money. <laughs> also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> I'll start my own business with black jackets and hookers. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. Yes, I'm dead You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here, when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken <laughs> care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. 
Hey, player two is here. Do this. Where's this game? Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Five, four, three, seven. Well, I'm gonna stop here. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy, because there's gonna be more.